Hello and welcome back to Hill House Vintage. Now today I'm going to take you on a trip to Delsford Farm where I attended the Delsford Cookery School for a wellness day. It was all about gut health and they were teaching us how to cook the most wonderful dishes from farm to fork. So you'll see me attending that and um, while we were in the Cotswolds we stayed over for a couple of nights and went to the Double Red Duke which is a place I've always wanted to visit. Um, it's known for its wonderful um, red and white striped awnings, which are fabulous, you'll see soon. And we visited a few other places, Bertha Garden Centre and of course St. Two Interiors, which is one of my favourite places to visit. So I hope you enjoy this little wintry video and um, I'll see you on the other side. Just before we leave Norfolk and hop over to the Cotswolds, I wanted to introduce you to a brand called Lily Silk. Lily Silk is a brand known for its silk pillowcases, its bedding and sleepwear, and other attire. Their products are classic and simple, designed to be used for a long time to reduce waste. In fact, their aim is to be as zero waste as possible, and any fabric remnants are used to make accessories such as silk eye masks and scrunchies. Their items are produced from natural degradable fibres sourced from mulberry trees without the use of pesticides. A few nights away in the Cotswolds was a great excuse for a new set of pyjamas. And these two sets, made of the finest soft pipe silk, were exactly what I needed. I also chose a warm and stylish v-neck cashmere sweater for those cold days when you want to feel cosy enough to have under a jacket but not so warm that I couldn't sit in front of a roaring fire in the evening. And did you know that the benefits of using a silk pillowcase include keeping your skin hydrated and preventing wrinkles, preventing split ends and frizz in hair and regulating temperature making it the ideal bedding throughout the entire year. Now the dress was a bit of me doing some advanced planning. Silk is the perfect transitional fabric from spring into summer. And this gorgeous sleeveless silk orchid dress will definitely become a summer staple. Luxurious, yet lightweight and breathable and convenient enough to pack into a small suitcase or an overnight bag. Whenever I travel the UK, I like to try out different hotels. The Double Red Duke has been highly recommended to me on several occasions. We chose a garden room, which had access onto a small private seating area, which led out onto a little kitchen garden. It was all so beautifully done and very picturesque. 
even in the cold January frost. I love the idea of having gravel around the raised beds. And of course, it would be my dream to have a greenhouse just like this. Our room was a mix of rustic and modern English country house. And we even had a bathtub at the end of the bed. My main reason for being in the Cotswolds was to attend a wellness day focusing on gut health at the Dalesford Cookery School. Oh, 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 sweet. <laughs> Hello, you. Despite the cold temperatures, it was a beautiful, crisp and clear winter's day. Perfect for a tour and a talk from the head gardener at the farm. So what we have here are herbs, perennial vegetables. So herbs being things like thyme, chives, mint, fennel. Perennial vegetables, things like rhubarb, globe artichokes, something called sea kale. They also label um, uh, autumn raspberries as a, a perennial herb, uh, perennial vegetable as well, just because of the way you manage them, like a vegetable perennial. Um, but yeah, they are an absolute delight. Most people don't know what the hell they are, and that's why you need a cookery school to educate people. But um, you tend to just, I tend to roast them, and uh, they have that crispness on the outside and the gooiness on the inside. Oh, lovely. Um, This is another of my, our favourites at Dale. So this you will never find in a supermarket mixed leaf because it is too delicate. Yeah, it's a bit swampy. It, it, you, you wash that and try and tumble it to dry it, it just damage it. Right. But it's just so architecturally gorgeous. This is red frills mustard, which tastes like new potatoes actually. And then the green frills, um, the golden frills, actually has a more of the classic horseradishy mustardy taste. Mm. But again, much more interesting than than lettuce and a chef's dream because obviously it looks incredibly mm. architectural. Mm. Time for a demonstration using the freshest produce taken straight from the ground, from farm to fork. Celeriac, sweated down in a pan with a healthy amount of butter, mm. probably milk and a little bit of cream. I've always despaired since I came to this country of people going on juice fasts in January and getting bikini. I'm not going to be bikini ready till the day I die. <laughs> um, so. But a little bit of something a bit sour and a bit fresh and a bit crunchy in the middle of winter is really useful. If you have antibiotics or you've been acutely ill or your gut's really giving you a lot of problems, probiotics are great, but they need to come in on top of a wide variety of fibre rich foods. The finished winter root vegetable salad was a delicious mix of textures and flavours, including beetroot, apple, blue cheese and kale. And this time round, the vast pan's now talking to me and telling me I'm getting too hot. <laughs> I was about Crackling. to pick it up and move it and I went, no, he's going to do his talking pan. <laughs> Life changing. 
Then it was time for us to make our own winter vegetable broths, filled with delicious seasonal vegetables from the garden. With mind and body relaxed, now it was time for a spot of retail therapy and a leisurely browse around the garden and interior section of Dalesford Organic. The joy I get from gardening is of course in part from watching the things I have planted grow. But it is also about how it makes me feel to be surrounded by the beauty of the garden. From the carefully styled displays, the curated vignettes, the mix of vintage and new accessories, there is an abundance of ideas and inspiration to be taken from the visual displays at Dalesford. After all, the inspiration is free. A day well spent, and now time to return to the Double Red Duke and a spot of dinner. Another day, and another chance to try out my lily silk, this time in the form of a cashmere sweater. The list of recommended places to visit in the Cotswolds seems endless, but a place that pops up time and time again in conversation is the Burford Garden Company, a garden centre extraordinaire, and it lived up to its fabulous promise. One of my aims this year is to find the perfect spot for the greenhouse of my dreams. 
Now this one may seem a little bit too big, but it provides lots of inspiration nonetheless. There are some places that we return to time and time and over and over again. And especially when friends are involved and there's great beauty to be seen. And say two interiors has them both in abundance. The owner of the shop, Cutter Brooks, is the author, Amanda Brooks. She was the former fashion director of Barney's in New York and has written books from Farm From Home, Always Pack a Party Dress and I Love Your Style. She opened Cutter Brooks in 2018 and it's a shop that I've bought from online but have never had the chance to visit in person. So this was going to be a real treat. So I hope you enjoyed that little jaunt to the Cotswolds and just incidentally I do have a discount code for Lily Silk in case you want to purchase some of those wonderful silk pyjamas of um, yourself and I have to say they were really wonderful and luxurious. Um, so I've got a 12% discount code, I will put it in the information box below and I'll probably pop it on screen here somewhere and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and thank you for watching. Bye!